Every year I like to come out to San Francisco at around this time because this is when Salesforce.com, the big software as a service company, practically invented cloud computing, holds its annual Dreamforce conference. Kind of like a tech pilgrimage for all who want to show their wares, strut their stuff, and most important, learn. And look, Salesforce has been on fire recently. I mean, today it raises fiscal 2019 revenue guidance, and the company continues to grow like a weed. Management's executing fabulously, and that's why the stock has rallied almost 50% year to date, less than two bucks off its all-time highs. Earlier today, I was able to sit down with Mark Benioff, the visionary co-founder, chairman, and CEO of Salesforce.com. Find out more about the big ideas we'll hear at Dreamforce and what they mean for the future of his company. Take a look. Mark? <laughs> I see some big characters behind us. I see Einstein. Yes, I don't want to get Einstein, ahead of the narrative. But when I came out here a couple years ago, I thought that Jim. Einstein was just a, a, a puppet. We're all getting smarter. It's okay, AI. Is that, what, is that what Dreamforce is about this year? What's our theme this year? Dreamforce is about one thing, which is taking these really complex technologies like AI, but making them so easy to use that we can all get access to them, that every company can be part of the fourth industrial revolution and that every company and every individual can become a trailblazer. Okay. That's what Dreamforce is all about. Uh, uh, Mark, and you see that over and over Mark, again the here. The majority of people who are watching the show here, fourth industrial, they don't even know about the third. So maybe <laughs> you ought to be a little bit more, uh, well, let's say, uh, less jargony. Well, you, we all know we are in an incredible time for technology yes. and artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, quantum computing, nanotechnology, CRISPR and genetics. All these technologies are hitting us at once. Right. And that's the fourth industrial revolution. And the question is, what are we going to do with all of these technologies? And look, there's a threat here, which is, is it creating more inequality? Is it dividing us? Well, in some cases it is. Is it disconnecting us? Or are we going to use this technology to raise ourselves up and create more equality, be more connected, be more united? And that's why people are at Dreamforce. They're here to come together and, how many? and to get empowered and enabled. We have 170,000 registered to be here today and 10 million online. How many people might learn how to code and therefore be able to be part of the fourth industrial revolution? Well, I think that we have to make it so that people don't have to code, but they can do clicks, not code, that they can okay. configure. And that's what our platform is all about. We're creating a massive Salesforce economy with millions of jobs because people can go right to our Trailhead platform. You've seen that at trailhead.com learn how to use these technologies, change their careers, and get on this train and go with us. Why do you, at $10 billion, foresee $20 billion? The reason I say that is because there are a lot of companies that never got to $2 billion, yeah. right? Because you taught me that that is really the hardest. But why even set that goal up? I mean, most guys under-promise to over-deliver. Why do you promise when it's kind of taking your life in your own hands? Well, you got to shoot for the stars. Okay. You know, if you're going to go somewhere, you got to figure out exactly where you're going. We've become the fastest software company ever to 10 billion, and we want to be the fastest ever to 20. And we're working our hardest to do that. And I'll tell you what's driving it, which is this huge transformation going on for so many of our customers. They have to connect with their customers in a whole new way. Now, uh, there are other companies, for instance, say SAP and Oracle, they would prefer you not to get to 20 billion. How can you out outsmart companies? A German company, brilliant leadership. Larry Ellison, I mean, he taught you. How can you beat your teacher? Well, you can just see that our customers are going so much faster than the customers who are using these old technologies from companies like Oracle and SAP. Our customers can go just faster. It's easier to use. And like we just mentioned, you don't have to be a programmer to get going. Right. And big companies are here, like, you know, Adidas is here. They've completely transformed the entire business of sport. And they've done it on the Salesforce platform. And Fox is here. Oh, Fox is here. They're rebuilding how they build media. They're informing their creatives with data. We're going to show that at our keynote today at 3 o'clock. It's going to be amazing. People will not believe what can happen today in a movie studio, modern movie studio, but, connecting with their customers in new ways. But that may be the division that Disney wants, perhaps because they are more they, in touch? Well, all of News Corp we've been working on. Okay. Fox is a critical component. But what part of media doesn't need to connect with their customers it's more smartly? And you can do it today with data. We've been talking about this, Jim, yes. for years, right? right? With the cloud, well, you with go, social, with mobile, and now with AI. Right. All of these technologies coming together give you, as a CEO, the ability to do things with your company that would never before was possible. And that's why we have these great CEOs here to talk about it. Now, Mark, it is, uh, used to be just Veterans Day, but there are a lot of Veterans it's Veterans Week. I understand that the VA has tried to figure out how to get in touch with its people 
and that they're using Salesforce. Let's talk about two things. Okay. One is every veteran deserves world-class customer service, the same kind of customer service that you get from a great company like Adidas. Right. You're going to get through the VA because the VA has signed on to let Salesforce transform their customer experience, their customer is the veteran. And two, we're trying to give veterans incredible new jobs. We have our whole Veterans Force initiative where we're retraining veterans using our platform so they can get jobs in our customers and have these amazing new careers. Really important for us as well. When you see a resume these days, I see resumes and they hit my desk and it says trained in Salesforce. Ever think that would happen? I can't believe that the Salesforce economy is happening. You know, 3.3 million jobs by 2022, almost a trillion dollars into the global economy. That's the Salesforce economy. It's all coming out of the platform. You just go to trailhead.com. You can learn how to use all of this stuff. And we bring you along. Come to our conferences, not just here, but all over the world. We're going to make sure you're part of the revolution and that you don't get left behind. How are you? Uh, you taught me. Social, mobile, cloud, artificial intelligence, machine learning. Where's your social? Well, social is the very fabric of how Salesforce works. Our whole platform is built on a social media model inside Salesforce. So when you're building applications on Salesforce, like how Home Depot has, it's all integrated in a social media type framework. But we also let you connect to those external social networks as well, like Facebook and Twitter and others, and bring that data into your company and talk to your customers on those platforms. We've been speaking with Ducati, and one of the amazing things that they the explained... The connected to, motorcycle. Right, the connected motorcycle, which is something Built I never... Built on Salesforce. Right, and, <laughs> and, and the connected motorcycle versus the non-connected. The connected motorcycle is something that millennials want. They just presume that you have it. The people who don't have it don't have the millennials. How important is it to try to reach the customer before they have made up their mind about what brand they want to choose? Well, your greatest opportunity for your customer is your last customer. And that's the reality. You want to have a community and all of your customers are on a journey with you. You could be on a retention journey with a customer. You could be on a get back into our business journey. You could just be on a renewal journey. You've got to map those journeys out. And Ducati is doing a brilliant, brilliant um, uh, onboarding of their customers with this new connected bike. They know you've bought the bike, you're joining their community. They're going to have that deep relationship with you. That's so powerful. That's what Marriott is doing also. They realize loyalty is dead. They want to have this huge community of hundreds of millions of consumers map out where they are on their journeys and get all those consumers into those Marriott hotels, walk in, have a great experience, have your key right on your phone, and welcome back to Marriott. That's a customer experience. That doesn't sound like just a loyalty program. Loyalty is dead. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It Keep is. that thought. Because all right. it's all about your community. Isn't that right. how you buy anyway from your friends? Yes. Or don't you want to join a community and be part of a community? When I yeah. think about community, I think about strategic partners. I think about large companies that have figured this out. I'm thinking about a new strategic partnership that you're going to announce today. Who is it? Well, you're going to see us do amazing new things with Google. With so Google. Google and sales. But Amazon is your partner. We have a phenomenal relationship with Amazon, with Dell, what with Cisco, have? and now with Google as well. They're fine with that? Look, our, our whole industry is all about companies working together to satisfy customer needs. And we have many partners who, we need many partners so that we can satisfy all the needs of our customers. All right, Mark Benioff, <laughs> founder, chairman, and CEO. Jim, thank you for coming to San Francisco, by the done. way. We're thrilled to I'm be here done. with you. Salesforce.com. <laughs> oh, more to Kramer. come? All right. <laughs> Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.